I'm Hunter Renfro. I play football here at Sox D, and I'm a senior. I'm Andrew Berdia. I'm a senior. How you doing? I'm Delano Walters. I'm a senior, and I play football for Sox D High School, and I will be playing football for Coastal Carolina University. My name is Jordan Hodge. I'm in the 11th grade, and I play football for Sox D High School. I'm Angela, 11th grade. Play football. Squat. Um, we had a pretty good season. We went 12-1. Uh, and 1. Started off 12-0, and 0, but uh, we started the season when our, uh, our goal was to reach, reach a state championship, and we didn't accomplish that, so it's kind of a disappointment, but it was a fun season and had some ups and downs, but it was good overall. Uh, I think this season went pretty good. I mean, we expected to go farther, we expected to win a state championship, but we got the job done. We went to playoffs in the third round, and we tried our hardest, so that's all you can say that we did. I think it went fairly well. I mean, we didn't make it to the state championship like we were planning on, but I mean, still good to go. 10 and 0 doing the regular season two years in a row, so this year and last year was good. I mean, I feel we did really well. Um, we made a second round playoffs, or third round playoffs. Uh, we didn't like accomplish our ultimate goal, but I mean, we accomplished a lot, uh, reading champs and whatnot, so I mean, it went well. I think the season went pretty good. We went 13 and 1. Pretty much, I mean, can't complain. Um, I've been playing football, backyard football I've been playing since I was like four or five, but I started playing organized football probably uh, sixth grade, I think, played in Myrtle Beach Rec, so. I've been playing football since the third grade, uh, all the way up to rec league football in seventh grade, then that's when I started to middle school, then high school, came varsity in tenth grade year. Um, I've been playing football since I was really little, growing up playing flag football, just running around the house. And yeah, I've been playing football since like uh, sixth grade, so. Middle school. Uh, I've been playing football for 13 years now. I think probably when we beat Conway 60 to 14, that was a pretty fun experience, and we scored a bunch of points. And uh, when we beat Hartsville, because they beat us last year and took us out of playoffs, and that was a close game, so that was a real enjoyable game. There's two games that like marked the highlight of my season: is North Florida Beach game, because for me that felt like a state championship material type game. Like it was the best game of my life, and then beating Hartsville for the first time that was a relief. We got a lot off all of our chest. Uh, one of my favorite moments would be uh, playing against Hilton Head. It was it was a lot of fun because I got to play a lot that game. Uh, I would say my favorite moment of this season would be uh, beating Hartsville just because our, the year before, that was the team that took us down. and uh, So that's like a big highlight and uh, I don't know, that's my favorite moment. My favorite moments was winning pretty much every end, end of the game. You see that scoreboard and you just get hyped. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it's definitely fun to win. That's why you play. You want to win the game, and the fun's in the winning. Um, it's just great having a bunch of guys and you get to celebrate with them. Well, on the field, I try to stay as calm as possible. I try to just keep focused, and I just try to win the game. After the game, we win the game, and the whole team's hyped up. We just want to chill together, have fun. I guess the past two seasons, i gotten used to it. I always like winning. It's never fun to lose, so winning's always a positive. I mean, it just feels amazing because you just know that like all the hard work and practice paid off and, you know, it wasn't for nothing. So, I mean, it feels great. Uh, when I win a game, I feel, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Everything, like, everybody's looking at you. Crowds, you know. <laughs> Thank you.
I love our teammates. We're uh, we start in the summer and we go and we kind of bond and uh, we just we have so much fun together and we enjoy like we have ups and downs and so we just help each other and guide each other through the season. My teammates are all like brothers to me. I grew up with most of them. I played rec league football with the majority, so we all just love each other. We all know what we want to do at the end of the day. That's just one, so we go out there and do it together. They're very supportive and they're they're good. They're not bad teammates. I mean they're they're good players along with it being good people. I love our teammates, they're like the best guys ever. Uh, basically like a family, so just a bunch of brothers. I love them. My teammates um, my teammates are like family, like I was raised with them, like bro blood brothers, ride or die. It was a lot similar to last year, because um, we went 12 and 0 last year, and we kind of expected it out of ourselves, and uh, we just tried to be 1 and 0 each week and try to win that game. We didn't really care about the games we played before, but just the week coming up, just try to be 1 and 0. When we went 10 and 0 again, we were like, gosh, this is an amazing feeling. Two years going 10 and 0, but we also knew what the main goal was. That's one state championship, but we felt kind of short, but we gave it our best. That's all we can really do. It was, it's pretty fun. I mean, that we beat everybody, and I mean, we're still looking to get that state championship, so. I mean, same thing, it just felt amazing knowing that, um, I mean, in a way it was kind of bittersweet, because, yeah, we were undefeated and we accomplished a lot, but we didn't reach that ultimate goal. But it's still, I mean, it's still a great feeling, it's still a lot to be proud of, so. It was good, it was great, but I mean, we should have won our last game, should have went all the way, but. <laughs> I signed to play at Clemson as a preferred walk-on next year and then uh, eventually have a chance to earn a scholarship, so looking forward to that. Uh, yes, I do. I signed to go play football at Coastal Carolina University, so I'm looking forward to that. That's my dream. And that came true, so can't wait. I'm not sure. I don't really plan on playing football after high school. I'm pretty much going to go and wrestle after high school. Uh, now, me, I'm done with sports, basically. So, I mean, club sports and whatnot, but... I'm doing football. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I plan on going to college, definitely, but football is something that I am looking into. It was, uh, it was great this year. Monday practices, we would, um, just being shorts and shoulder pads, so get some soreness out and kind of prepare for the week. And then Tuesday and Wednesday we had full full pads and we hit. But uh, yeah, it just starts in the summer, working out and running and just build a team of bonding and just prepare for the season coming up. Uh, every day training was like from like right after school to about five six o'clock. But I put an extra work, so I got early release. So at one fifty, I'll go train and I'll enter about two fifty three o'clock. So just to have that extra hour and to be above everybody else. Training is very intense. Coach Link has us working on a very high speed and it's intense and a lot of, a lot of hitting them. It's intense. I mean, all season, it's uh, in the weight room, lifting weights, uh, in season practice. It's pretty intense. A lot of running, a lot of working out. Yeah, I think it, uh, my dad really just led me, uh, my, well, my family in general, we were a real athletic family, I guess, so we just grew up loving sports and loving football, so anything involving a football or a ball in general, we just love to do. Well, at first, I never really wanted to play football. I played hockey, but hockey got canceled, so my brother played football, and I just took it up from him, and that's where I started football from. Just watching all the NFL players and, um, uh, Sunday football. Uh, I don't know, just seeing them on TV is kind of like, I want to be that guy. Uh, have one looks up to them and whatnot. So that's kind of my thought process. I play football. 
I was just a big dude. Kind of just stuck with him. I think it helped me become more confident. Um, and it's led me to rely on other people and uh, like my teammates and knowing I can trust them and they have my back and I have theirs. Uh, football has made me better as a person, made me learn the game, made me learn how to have a brotherhood with other people. And I just look forward to my future and see what it holds for me. Yeah, I mean, it's changed me as a person, knowing I have to be smart playing football and makes me think about life. I have to make smart decisions and know when to do that and the right time. I mean, I would say it definitely has. It's made me more, it's given me a strong work ethic, uh, made me more disciplined. Um, just all the coaches I've had throughout the years have been a great support system and uh, all my teammates. So, I don't know, it definitely has changed me, made me a better person, made me part of who I am today, obviously. So, I love the sport. Uh, football has changed me in a big difference. I could have been like, could have been a dropout, could have been in jail, but I'm getting my grades, going to school. <laughs> At first, he uh, last year he was a coach, and so he always he was always there, but uh, he was never like my position coach. So he's kind of kind of like a father figure on the team as well as he was um, at home. But uh, he kind of just looked over, and I just learned a lot from him, and uh, it was it was fun having this my coach.